So somebody asked me an important question this morning to do with meditation and to do with stilling the mind. And what happens a little after, you know, you've been doing this meditation for five or six years or so and you still can't still the mind. And why can't you still, still the mind after this length of time? Because Because really it is important to be able to still the mind. Spiritual experiences don't really begin until the mind stops. And in all spiritual paths, the discipline of the mind is paramount. The mind is an entity. We actually have two entities that exist with us. There is the mental entity and the physical entity. They aren't us. And those of you who know Shakespeare's play, The Tempest, he actually personifies this whole thing with two figures. One is Ariel, the sprite, who is the mental elemental, and the other is Caliban, who is the physical elemental. And Prospero, as the, the magus, the master, has control over both of them. We don't, on this path, we don't stress so much control of the physical element. We just walk the middle path. You don't overindulge it, you don't... But you don't sort of batter it into submission with ascetic disciplines either. It's like sexuality, by said, yes, you can control the sexuality. But the amount of effort you would put into controlling the sexuality, it's better to put that effort into looking towards God, in the devotion to God. As long as the sexuality doesn't dominate you and get you into trouble. And this part, he said, Sufism and sexuality don't really go together. It's not, it's not really of any interest. Sufi part. It's not an issue. He had children. But also with his first wife, he said he so much just wanted to go to the beloved at night. He didn't do much else. So we don't, the physical element, we just allow to be. It doesn't dominate us. We don't bother to dominate it. Some people can control their physical more easily than others. But, but the mind is a, is, is, is a different devil. And you just have to look, look and see how your mind thinks you so often, even in daily life. And to see how much it dominates. And this is, of course, we live in mental culture. We are brought up to go to school and to be intelligent and to use the mind. And so we give the mind a lot of authority. And our culture gives the mind a lot of authority. But for the mystic, the mind is an obstacle. The mind is for many people the obstacle. And meditation is one way to control the mind and the zikr is another way to control the mind. And you really have to do it. Otherwise, I think in the end you waste your time. And like the story of the man who says, he gets no answer from God. He cries out to God and gets no answer. And the devil comes and says, look, you are wasting your time. You repeat the name of God and you get no answer. And then Hitler came to this despondent dervish and said, no. Each time you cry Allah, that cry is God's response, here I am.